So as you can see, this is the answer here. So what we will do next is we will go into Salesforce and we will, we will go to create an external connected app. So there is a new thing now. So is you cannot create an external connected app, but, but there is a way to do it. So you need to go in external client app manager settings and to turn the toggle on for connected app. Once you do that, you will be able to create a new connected app. So this connected app, we will call it my new agent force app two. I already did the first one, so we will do the, uh, the second one and we will write contact my email address. Okay. So now we will enable a few things to ensure that we can use the connected app. So here the callback URL will be um, the regular one. So it will be, oh, sorry, we'll just copy that and I will put login Salesforce service. Okay. Digital signature as well. We will select that. And in terms of COP, we will select a few of them. So we will use chatbot. Okay. We will use API, uh, uh, Salesforce API. We will use tech, 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 tech. Direction lightning mission. at any time. Yep. And I will also do full access just for this demo. But basically that's the three that you will select. After that, we will on, uh, turn off uh, those two. Um, and here we will select issue JSON web uh, token. So uh, GWT because this is what we will be using and require secret. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. So this is what we will be using so far. And now we will need to use a digital signature. So for that, I will go in digital, uh, no, so it's GWT. I will need to find what we are using to so generate with Salesforce. So I know we can do it with Salesforce directly. So you need a discovery. So I need to search for that. Okay. So I'm not sure how we will do it. We will do it manually. So basically here I will go into my, my terminal. And I will write the command. I will write the command. Sorry. Window. Open SSL. And I will give it another name. So I will do. So here I, I write a command line to generate my RSA private key. Tac. So here the, the public key. is generated and now I will need to create the public one. So I will do that and here I will just change to server two and server two CR30. So I will have two files. Uh,
Okay, so here I've generated two key that I will be able to find in my download, a public one and another one. So here, as you can see, it's these two that are available. Me, in that case, uh, I will upload the key. Okay. And I will come to save my connected app. Ah, so I have choose the wrong file. I need to use like the CR set. Okay. Here it should work. And the method of authentication that we will use between the app and, and agent force and the, the postman is by using the connected app that is using like the GWT token. So here I will need to edit the policy. I will say that I relax the IP restriction. Here I will put 99 days. Timeout value, 24 hour. Here, I will say that I want to connect through a user. So I will use myself. And here, so this should be good. So you can see in policy type, I explain that admin user pre-authorized I will put myself, I relax the AP, API, IP address, sorry. And I will save my app, the policy of the app. Okay. So now it should be good. I will also associate uh, a profile. So the profile will be admin user because my user is an admin. System administrator. So I click save. Okay. This seems to be good. And now that I have that, something that is important to check is that you go into auth and open ID connect setting and you can turn the different toggle on just to enable the user access. So in that case, we are using GW token, but it's a common cause of why it's failing. And now that we have the connected app, what we will do is we will go into agent force. So as you can see here, we have created a post, a post uh, request, HTTP post request. And within this post request, we have different information. So like we don't say, we say no authorization here, but we will put everything in the body. So here we have this value. So here we indicate that we use the GWT mirror token. And here we have the version assertion, which is the, the private key that we will, that we will work together to, on how to do it. So in order to populate the private key that you will need to use here, you can go on this website called gwt.io and you will have to go into encoder. Here you can specify like the algo encryption algorithm to encrypt your key and the type of encryption. So here we are using the uh, GWT, so uh, JSON, uh, JSON. So 
within the payload, we will have to put the public uh, key of our connected app. So if I go into our app to app manager, and then I will find uh, the app here. I will click on manage or maybe view, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was, it was, let's do edit. No. Oh, app manager. Okay, here we will see the manage consumer details. And here I should get a code directly. So here my code is that one. So it will be in here. I put the code and here I have two key. I have the customer key, the public one and the secret one. So I can copy that. And in here, I will come sorry. Yeah. in here in the header, in the body, sorry. Oh no, we were here. So here I will come to past my key, my public key. So I passed it. I post my Salesforce username, the link to access Salesforce, like the connection link, like the login. And this is quite not random, but like a bit complicated. It's basically like the time that, that it will be activated for. So for example, here I put it like a, a few days in the future because I want that to be activated. And this will give me a number like this epoch converter and it will be an epoch timestamp. Okay. So I have all these values that are populated and here I will open the valid private key. So I will go into my Mac and I will open with text edit. I will copy that and I will pass it here. Once I pass it, this will give me the key, the G JSON web token that is populated. And then I will be able to, um, sorry, I will be able to pass it here directly. So I will pass my JSON token in here. And then I will be able to send the request to get my uh, token. So like the first thing that I, I, I forgot about telling you is that you need to go to your agent as well. So like the service a agent that we have created together. And if you click on agent here, you will need to go in connection. And within connection, you will have to add a new connection. Here you can select API, my new agent force app two. And here you will be able to select the app and you can click save. So this will allow the connected app to connect to agent force. And then us with Fossman, we will use the API to connect to the connected app and interact with agent force. So this is where we are. Now that we have requested that we can click on, I think we are good. Yep. We expired authorization code. So this is interesting. So I will put, for example, uh, Monday. So I will refresh that page and I will add, I will add 19. 